Hello, my awesome and amazing Aries. It's Mel with Blue Scorpion Tarot here to bring you another general collective reading. Messages from your specific person. What is it that they wish to say to you? We're going to find out. Calling upon the trusted ancestors of my Aries viewers and subscribers to bring in the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth through the power of the numbers. And so it is. Let's see here. Power of my pen. Get my pen adjusted. Power of number eight. Number one. And number three. Looks like we're going to the number 12. Some of you Aries are dealing with a Leo or a Virgo born in the month of August. Others of you are dealing with a Capricorn or an Aquarius born in the month of January. You could also be dealing with a Pisces or possibly another Aries born in the month of March. And yes, a lot of you Aries were born at the earlier part of April. That is true. Pisces energy coming in again through the number 12. However, you could also be dealing with a Sagittarius and or possibly a Capricorn born in the month of December. Strong Cancerian energy coming in through the number 18. Scorpio energy coming in through the number 13. You could also be dealing with one of the fixed signs of the Zodiac. That would include Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, and again, Scorpio. You could have been born in 1981, 1982, or possibly 1983. You could be 21, 23, or 28 years of age. And others of you could be 31, 32, and or maybe even 38 years of age. But either way, Aries, we're going to go to the power of number 12, messages from your specific person. and 12. Trusted ancestors of my Aries viewers and subscribers, what is the overall general collective message, please? From Aries person unto them, show me what's up. Mm. The four of cups, they could be reaching out to you in the next four minutes, four hours, four days. It could be the four o'clock hour. Mm -hmm. Or sometimes within four months time frame. It just depends on the dynamics of your relationship connection, but just know that they're going to be coming in to make some kind of an offer. Now, be mindful, we're still in a Mercury retrograde until August 28th of 2024, okay? So, they have something that they want to offer you, and yet at the same time, they know that their actions have disappointed you before in the past, Aries. Mm. They could have ghosted you, rejected you, abandoned you, blocked you, whatever the case may be. I am picking up on past text messaging arguments. And some of you are dealing with water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or possibly Scorpio. Mm. Pisces energy coming in through the number 12, the 813 added up to the number 12. They're in the hanged man position or the offer that they're going to make you may leave you feeling like you're in flux or suspension, not knowing which way is up or down or trying to seek a clearer perspective on what it is that this offer entails or how are they going to step up to the plate, basically. Hmm. This person, I feel, has been sitting on the fence possibly over the last nine days or the last nine weeks. They're feeling besides themselves, or you may end up feeling like you're in your own emotional battle here, Aries, whether or not to allow this person to come back into your life. Because a lot of you know 
the tumultuous energy that has been placed before you from the past and this person's actions and their words not matching up with their actions. So they've been thinking and contemplating themselves, but they don't know. They don't know if you are going to accept them or reject them. Hmm. This person still has very much a lot of passion for you, and I don't feel that they have exactly lost the attraction for you either. It says, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So they're longing to embrace you again, Aries. I think they understand now exactly what they missed out on, and a lot of you, Aries, already moved on to somebody else. Some of you did. Mm. They want to take a retreat or what they may have to say could be about a long-term commitment. So we've got a couple there in a wedding attire. It's time to disconnect from the world. So it could be true that this person could have blocked you on a social media platform or they're going to unblock you. And then they're going to try to reach out or they could show up at your house. They could show up at your work. But it's like they're wanting this alone time or they may say like, baby, I want to get married and... You know, you're the only one for me, etc. But you know what's going on is that, you know, because I would like to see, like, if an eight of pentacles would have kicked in, that shows me that this person really, in truth, is going to put in a lot of work, a lot of action to make this right. I still feel like there's some uncertainty here. And maybe some of you may think like, wow, if you were to get a marriage proposal today or tomorrow in the next few weeks or the next few months, you may not even believe it, Aries. You may not believe it. So there could be a little bit of a shock factor. That's the reason why maybe that hanged man mode. And I also feel like because they're also in that position too, they're trying to think of the right words to say. So they could even be strategizing a bit. Mm, playfulness. So I do pick up that they're going to be very flirtatious, a little playful, wanting to do nice things and take you out and maybe wine and dine you, etc. It says to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Mm. Aries, this person may know your weak spots. Mm -hmm. And if they've known how to wrap you around their little finger, please be mindful. Okay, and don't take this person back. If they come back during this Mercury retrograde, don't take them back right away. If you feel compelled to talk to them and take things nice and slow, you know what I mean? They could have also had some family dynamics that were going on or there were family members that were trying to infiltrate your relationship or create chaos or possible confusion uh, within this connection. We both know I'm not the one for you. Maybe your thoughts have changed, Aries, about this person. They could have told you this before in the past. Oh, we're just not meant to be together. I'm just not feeling this. I just think I'm done and I need to get over this and blah, blah, blah. A lot of these excuses and wishy-washy answers. But yet they're wanting to come back around the bend again because of that Four of Cups. So the Four of Cups is dominating over that statement. I feel you even though we are apart. So they're being very highly reminiscent of the past. Or you they feel you slipping away. Mm -hmm. Hence the reason why energetically feeling that pull from your energy. You know, if you just kind of be like, mm -mm -mm, wash my hands of this situation. I told you, I can't stop thinking about you. They're up in their feelings. They're all up in their head. It feels like a nine of swords to me. This person could definitely have a little bit of restless energy picking up on the air signs, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini that you could also be dealing with. Picking up on the fire signs as well, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. You may not want them back. 
Or they could have told you again in the past, I, I got to move on. I can't do this. I'm not in love. And I'm still in love with my ex and I need to move forward and I need to heal and I need to do all this stuff, you know, but still they're going, I think they're second guessing their actions because they're feeling your energy and they can't stop thinking about you. So I feel like they're questioning themselves. Hence another reason why they're sitting on the fence. I think this person needs to kind of pull it together here. They need to clearly decide what they want, Aries. I'm secretly obsessed with you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I can't stop thinking about you. They're thinking about that passion, that passion that they experienced with you. Other people were interfering and trying to control me. That's why I saw that healing uh, family issues. You know, if it was a mother figure, father figure, aunt, uncle, brother, sister, cousin, mutual friends, bromances. You know, you know what that tells me? This, pu this person felt like they couldn't, like, oh, my hands are tied. Really? Uh, people were putting them like a puppet on a string. You can't stand up for yourself. You can't stand up for the connection. Can you stand up for anything? I mean, come on. Can't think for yourself? Can't put your foot down? Like, again, this person was not making you their number one priority, but they are in their feelings and they are thinking about you, Aries. I do feel like they're retracting in their mind some of the things that they said. And it's like, yeah, they want to be up in your energy or they feel like your energy is moving on or you're leaving them behind, etc. But whose fault is that? They had every single opportunity to really try to correct the situation. But Aries, you need to make yourself number one, okay? You put yourself being number one. You are the number one priority, okay? And um, you're always going to be standing on your own two feet, Aries, no matter what you seem challenged with. You've been trying to stay in a form of mental clarity, you know? And I get it. You the, the feelings for this person run really deep. They're deeply rooted. But they left you somewhat in a state of confusion, if not a lot of confusion. So they'll come in. They'll make an offer. But they need to put in more effort. It's going to take more than just taking you out to dinner or going to the movies. And, and even so Aries, you do not want to sleep with this person right away. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Because you know what this, because this person's not putting in a lot of effort or action to show me they're not even bringing me in real commitment cards. It's like all talk, no action. I have no ace of pentacles, no ace of cups, no 10 of pentacles, no 10 of cups. I'm not saying that that can't come later on, but their initial approach or response is, oh, you know, I want to be with you and, you know, I miss you and all of this stuff, but you need to ask them why. Why do you miss me? I mean, do you always walk away from the person that you care for, that you showed that you cared for, etc.? You need to question this person. Don't just because if they're good looking and all of this stuff or they have a lot of money or a little bit of money, whatever it is, whatever is in their aura or their essence that makes you weak in the knees, don't fall for it because that's all on the surface. Intentions are everything. So be mindful, okay? My awesome and amazing Scorpio. <laughs> you must be dealing with a Scorpio. Mm, Scorpio energy was going to say, huh? Mm, could be dealing with a Scorpio. Mm -mm. Aries. <laughs> if you would like to book a personal reading with me and do it through the power of the numbers, you can hit me up at Blue Scorpion Gifts at gmail.com and my amazing assistant Victoria will book you for that personal reading. I am running a summer reading special for questions for $25. So if you'd like to get on my current recording schedule, again, email me at bluescorpiongifts at gmail.com. And if you love this content, Aries, 
be sure to hit the like and subscribe button. And until next time, take care.